Okay, so now I have a bunch of constructs I can't kill. I have a giant I can't find. And pretty much two quests uh, beyond me to complete. Nice. Oh, wow, that hurt. <laughs> These are not nice at all. Ah, right, viewers, thanks for joining me. I'm a little lost out here, unfortunately. Okay. There's a way trying up over here. I think we're gonna head that way. Alright, okay. We're gonna head back to the city. And then we're gonna go the opposite direction. We're gonna figure out where the king's at. And help him over there, because this is just ridiculous. I'm obviously gonna need more than one myself to do this. Okay, so the king is actually over here. So we're going to do a quick, quick travel over here. As you can see, it's a good sized map. They're about the size of any of the uh, lands in Tamriel, as far as the ESO goes. Obviously, lots of quests, side quests, the whole nine yards. Definitely big enough um, to work with. Let's get to that spot right there. So I say for the money, it's definitely worth it because there's a lot of content, obviously. They put a lot into this. And what I was looking at as far as the um uh, the game goes, there's a lot of changes, little minor ones here and there. Um 
to the system. They did a few overhauls uh, since the last time I was in. Um, one of which I can show you right now, and that is actually oh, there's another version over there. Cool. Um, and that is actually uh, the way that we do the uh, journal now, as far as the uh, or I thought the uh, uh, achievements. The achievements have now been changed. So we actually have essentially for the DLCs, uh, the quest. Explorer. So everything's been kind of reduced. So like we used to have one for Sky Shards, um, for um, several things, but like I said, everything's been kind of changed and moved around. So you have to kind of find things. So now here's all your guilt stuff. And the champion stuff. The champions. And here's now the sky shards now in the character. So you have to look in here to find your your uh, your sky shards and what sky shards you have and don't have. And your basic summer gives you a look at all the, the base ones you have. Now all your trophies are in one spot. And we actually have a system for the justice system set up a little differently than before. They've also changed the way that we do the um, die stations. They actually took away the colors. Uh, if you don't have it unlocked, then you won't see it. I need to go this way so we can shoot past that way shine. Oh, the wrong way. Ah, oh, those are what I <laughs> Don't interfere. This is mine and mine alone. Up. Oh. Okay. Yep, that's where I go. Awesome.
Yep, we're going our way. Another way shine. fly i'm amazed the towers can withstand the punishment the brains hmm. must have used orc crafters and they built that place to last but never fear the winterborn won't have a fort to protect them for much longer sounds good chirag summoned the chiefs of rothgar to besiege the winterborn one of our biggest problems are those briarheart monstrosities hmm. for every one we kill two more take its place yeah he's a farmer. solution uh -huh. damn if it doesn't keep eluding us Hmm. We need to get inside the fort. Find out where they're spawning those abominations. But the damn harpies. We can't walk five steps without becoming bird food. Hmm. Siege Commander Dolph's working on a plan. I hope it's a good one, for all our sakes. This is the Winterborn's final stand. We destroy the Briarhearts while Chirag deals with their warlord, Iceheart. If we succeed, Chirag will have ended a threat that has plagued us for far too long. Maybe then I'll consider accepting him as our king. Hmm. The harpies are going to be it? We're pretty sure they're all connected through the Hag Ravens, or whatever ah. they call those ugly old hags. It mm -hmm. wouldn't surprise me if the Briar Hearts are also their creation. They're all vile, the lot of them. That's the why I think they are. The Briar Heart warriors are like the undead, only worse. They talk to each other, think on their own behave just like any other soldier but there's no way they're alive not with half their chest hanging wide open I guess you haven't experienced a winterborn raid yet you can actually see their foul hearts beating inside their open chests except they aren't hearts at all more like some sort of malignant growth it's unsettling to see to say the least hmm you can say that it started when he claimed the title of king. Many chiefs aren't ready to bend their knee to Kirog. It's not the orc way. But Kirog knows how to conduct a battle. Look around. No clan could muster a force such as this. Okay. Kirog believes that the orcs need a united kingdom. We've banded together to defend our land. But beyond that, we'll see. The Winterborn have been ransacking Rothgar for years. At least Kirog has brought us together to try to put an end to that. Perhaps. But tradition sometimes is too high a wall to climb over. Yes. We're proud and stubborn people. New ideas, they frighten us. And Kirog is full of new ideas. A new city, a new god, it's more than many of us can take. But if he wins the day... All right. So here we are. We need to figure out where we're going from here. Don't let up. Hit the winter board with everything we've got. I want all the soldiers from all of the clans to circle the fort. Iceheart won't escape from me this time. Our soldiers know what to do, Kira. You can count on that. Then maybe mm -hmm. this victory will finally convince you and the other chiefs to fully accept my claim to the throne. Just barge into the king's tent without so much as a by your leave. 